I can see a car behind this, so let me pause what I was saying for a moment. You see the Innova is now trying to leave the bus lane. I assume the MC Taxi is going to do the same thing. It looks like an MC Taxi anyway. They already got the license from the Avanza and that's being pulled to the side. Hopefully they'll get the Innova and MC that was in the background. Oh, that's the MC, I can see it there. According to the enforcers, the rider is saying he wasn't inside the bus lane and he's asking them to prove it. My goodness, that's the challenge they have with a lot of drivers and riders. They just stopped this in over now. It has improvised plates, but then there's a placard that says government vehicle. Whether or not that's true, I don't personally know, because in various operations, I've seen cars apprehended with a placard that says government vehicle. And then once they checked the registration, it was actually private. They're pulling off that Nova to the side now, and they'll ticket him out of the way, so it won't obstruct the buses. Now, based on comments, I think there is some confusion about barriers. Most of the bus lane has barriers. It's only on the flyovers and the tunnels where they were removed for safety reasons. Then they put metal bollards, but people were crashing into those, mostly by accident, but basically bollards could only last a few days before they got destroyed. So eventually they had to just leave it open like this. But like I say, it's only on the flyovers and it's only on the tunnels and there's still signages. And how often do you hear someone say, I didn't know it's a bus lane? More often what they say is, I was in a rush. I'm running late. I have an important meeting. It really worries me the number of MC taxis that are in the bus lane. Just like the other day, remember the woman said, I kept telling my rider not to go in the bus lane, but he wouldn't listen. Dow. There's a bus, then an ambulance, and then this car. Go ask for the license, send him off to the side. That's one more and over. They're pulling out of the bus lane for a ticketing. It is a red plate, but obviously it's not marked as ambulance, police. Well, it doesn't have any markings at all, actually. So they pull that off to the side, issue a ticket, and then send him on his way. What's this vehicle behind the bus? It's got improvised play. Don't know if there's any enforcer. Okay, there is, that's good. I was a little bit worried for a moment there because sometimes you get overwhelmed with the number of violators. But there's someone there and I'll ask for the license now. And you can really see, even when you just drive along Edsa, you can see there's far fewer people abusing the bus lane. But of course, the moment you take your eyes off the bus lane and you start to focus on something else, well, people will start abusing the bus lane again, right? That's the unfortunate reality. In fact, there's memes like that, right? Where the enforcer will say to the violator, did you not see the red light? And then he'll say, yeah, I saw the red light, but I didn't see you, right? That's the mindset of some people. If there's an enforcer, I obey. If there's no enforcer, well, they just flag down that van. Obviously, bus lane violation. Again, they're pulling it off to the side for ticketing, so it won't obstruct the bus lane. In fact, I just came to the side to show you that they really are being <laughs> ticketed. Now, I know that some people are going to be tired of hearing this, but there are new viewers. That's 50 people that the bus has just moved. That's 100 people that the bus has just moved. And the reason why I'm bringing up this point is because people sometimes say, oh, the bus lane is a waste of space. Why don't you let the cars and motorcycles go in there? Well, MMDA statistics before said the majority of cars on EDSA only carry one person. So it wouldn't take that many cars to fully occupy the bus lane. And then what happens? All the commuters will be stuck. And pretty much any time the MMDA come through this area, they ticket taxis for being parked on the sidewalk. Usually the drivers aren't too far away, so they can really leave with just a ticket. Actually, this problem goes back countless years of the sidewalk being used for taxi parking. And actually, over there, you can see there's more taxis being ticketed on the sidewalk. This one here might actually get towed away because there's no driver. Of course, after being ticketed, the taxis have to leave the sidewalk. They can't just stay there. And that's really weird. This guy was standing in the background with the other taxis, just watching everything. And in the moment they started to tow this taxi, he said, oh, that's mine. There used to be a huge problem with cars parking on the sidewalk here. It doesn't seem as bad anymore, but you I do still see the occasional car, and the toker is actually about to pick up this one now. 
what I remember from before is most of the drivers said they came from an apartment building and instead of paying to park inside, they park here on the sidewalk where it's free. But of course it can disrupt pedestrians and it's a sidewalk at the end of the day. The tow crew will actually walk around the vehicle making a video and that documents any damage. So if there's a complaint later, they can say, hey, this is how it looked when we picked it up. And it just helps to protect them against complaints or claims. Because if they do actually damage a vehicle, they are liable. They have to pay out to repair it. And right now they're issuing a ticket to this vehicle parked on the sidewalk. They regularly ticket vehicles of the contractors here for parking on the sidewalk. They used to put a placard on their windscreen of a government agency but they were told to stop doing that because firstly, they're not employees of that agency and secondly, the vehicles are not owned by that agency. Although some workers came out, they said the driver's not here and he has the key. So the only way to clear this from the sidewalk is to tow it away. Someone here was actually suggesting that having these vehicles regularly park on the sidewalk might actually be what caused the damage over here. And of course, I have no way to know for sure what caused this damage. And right now the enforcer is writing out a ticket to this SUV that's obstructing the public sidewalk. They're pushing away the e-bike or e-trike. Even this tent is actually consuming the sidewalk. It's okay to put things on private property, but once they extend over the public sidewalk, that's the time that the MMDA involve themselves. Ah, okay, so that guy is holding the sandpaper that's being used on that vehicle. Is that why the tent is there? To protect the car while it's being worked on. Ideally, they would move it further forward so that the tent doesn't have to be on the sidewalk, right? It looks like the driver for that SUV came out now, so he can just show his license and take a ticket instead of being impounded. The team were just about to write out a ticket to this one for illegal parking, and then the driver came out. I'm not sure if he was planning to ride off like that. Anyway, he hasn't actually driven yet, so it's still just the initial violation that they're looking to put on the ticket, which is illegal parking. I've noticed quite a few people lately that have said to enforcers, I thought it's okay to wear slippers now. Someone said it's okay. I have no idea where they're getting that information from. You can be ticketed for it. So if somebody tells you it's allowed now, I don't know where they're getting that information, but it's not true. And just a little further along, I can see the towing crew are about to take this pickup truck. I also noticed that most of the four repair vehicles have already been removed from the sidewalks here along 20th. I don't know whether they were already towed or if people just moved them to avoid them being ticketed and towed. This MC here is parked on the sidewalk. The enforcer is already writing out the ticket and I think the towing crew would take it away because they've been here for a while nobody's come out. They're also looking at an L300 just beside this. They just apprehended that rider there, no helmet. He was actually given a warning earlier but he proceeded and has been apprehended. The first thing he did was pointed and said he's just going there. So I know a lot of people are gonna be happy that they've apprehended the member of the General Gang. Oh, and I just realized he's wearing slippers also, so that's a separate violation.